So do you want to start to get commissions on your artwork? Are you just starting out and you're not really sure where to find clients, how to get them? Then definitely watch today's tutorial because it's going to be super helpful for you. What's up y'all? This is the Art Mentor. Welcome to Art Talk number 14. Today I'm going to be giving you a solid guide towards you getting commissions on DeviantArt. So through this guy, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step process as to how you should be applying to jobs on DeviantArt. Because to be honest with you, there are a ton of people that do this process wrong. It's actually very, very simple, but there's just a ton of little errors that people make and a lot of things that people do that waste time and actually detract from landing commissions. So what you're gonna find on here are clients of all price ranges. And this is really great for any artist of any ability level. You can literally sift through all of the different job offers there if you do this effectively like I'm gonna teach you today and you can find exactly what you're looking for. So let's bust into this. So very briefly, in case you're unfamiliar with this website or how to access where the actual commission jobs are, I very quickly just wanna show you where that's gonna be. So what you want to do is from your profile page on DeviantArt or from the overall landing page, you do need to make an account in order to post or comment on this stuff. What you want to do is you want to hit the three little tabs up in the top right. It's kind of near your avatar profile picture. And you're going to click on that and click forum. Now I'm going to tell you right now that where you access the forums from has changed over uh, the last like three years. They keep on moving this thing around, but this is generally how you're going to do it. So this is then going to bring you to the overall forums. So what you want to do is just scroll down until you see the employment opportunity section on the forums. And you're going to see two different sections available to you. So you're going to see the job offers and job services. So just to explain the difference to you. So job services is where you can advertise your services for other people to then come to you and commission you for it. I'm gonna tell you that over the last like seven years, I've put a post here and I've maybe gotten a few jobs out of this, but the majority of where I find all of my job offers is in the job offers forum. So this is where clients will actually post what they need done. This is then gonna bring you to a pretty big landing page and I wanna take a minute just to discuss with you about how you need to effectively read this so that you're not wasting your time because a lot of people do waste their time when they're applying for jobs on this. So here we go. So in understanding the landing page, it's pretty simple, but there's some really key information that you need to know and key information that you need to look for so that you're not wasting your time. So first off, over on the left here, you're gonna see all the different available job offers to you. Everything from, you know, make me a character all the way down to some really weird and creepy stuff. Um, that's up to you, however you want to approach this. Over here next to the title, you're gonna see who created it. And then you're gonna see next to that, uh, the latest reply, all right? Now, also worth noting is all the way over to the right where it says popular threads in the job form. So these are the most popular and most common uh, threads that people are really interested in applying for. All right, so now let me give you some best practices here. Cause like I said, a lot of people do this wrong and I'm gonna tell you it's a pretty big percentage. Like at least 50% of people totally waste their time because they're not looking for the right information and they're applying to jobs that are just stale. So here we go. What I do want to draw your attention to and the number one thing that you should be looking for if you're going to be seeking commission artwork is you need to look at the date it was created, where it says started by. So you're going to see the user who created it and how old this post is, okay? So you're going to see some that say hours, some of them say days, and some of them say weeks. The best piece of advice I can give you is this. If you see a post that is two to three days old, it's kind of at the end of its lifetime, okay? Think of this as its expiration date. Anything beyond two to three days, it's probably one of two things. It's either been fulfilled or it's just being completely ignored because that client really wasn't serious about it. So never apply to a post that is more than two to three days old. You're just wasting your time. Don't do it. Also, just to bring you back to the side over there, where it says popular threads in job forums. You need to just completely ignore this. These are gonna be completely oversaturated jobs that tons of people have applied to. And to be honest with you, do not even bother trying to apply to it. Now what's best as you're kind of browsing through all these, once you figure out the proper timing on this, is this. 
if you are able to apply to it, typically within the first 12 hours, you're gonna be really highly considered for that position because you're gonna be amongst the first uh, pool of artists that that client has to look at. Now, another really big key thing that I would definitely draw your attention to is look, go through all of these on the first page, okay? Make sure that you are actually applying for jobs that suit your skill set. So for example, if you're a character artist, look for character artwork. Don't try and apply for like an environment concept artist if you only do character artwork. But definitely only apply to jobs to which you are actually best suited for or that really interests you. So when figuring out when to apply, here's my personal advice for you. The two best days out of the entire week to apply for jobs where you see the most uploaded on here are gonna be Fridays and Saturdays. If you go late at night on a Friday or Saturday night, you're gonna find this is typically when the most amount of jobs are posted. So either get on Saturday morning or Sunday morning or Friday, Saturday night, those are the best times. Other than that, I would very much encourage you too to go ahead and look in the mornings, just overall in the mornings, because most people are gonna put up that post requesting artwork to be made at night. So therefore, if you can get in and you can just do a quick you know, 20 minutes and just browse through what's recently been posted on there um, in the mornings, you're probably gonna get noticed first. It's gonna help a lot. So the next tip here is to actually check out a post. So if you go ahead and you just click on a post like this one right here, okay, um, you wanna look for some key important details. So number one is you wanna make sure, you wanna read through and just make sure that this is exactly what you wanna do and that it best serves your skill set. that you actually have something to show to the client that would make them want to pay you money in order to create that artwork for them, okay? So definitely read through the description, make sure that it fits you and your interest, something that you're gonna be really excited to produce for them. Next on here, you really need to read through that blurb as well that you're kind of posted because you need to check out what the method of contact is, and there's three of them. The most common one is gonna be that they want you to just go ahead and make a comment down below. And I'm gonna tell you how to do this effectively because again, a lot of people do it wrong in just a minute. So. That's number one. Number two is that they're gonna want you to DM them, which on DVR is called a note, by the way. And the third method of contact is gonna be email. So in my experience, that exact order is the potential for which you will actually get contacted back. Now, the other thing that you wanna check out as you're reading through this is that before you make a comment on it, which is again, the most frequent method of communication clients like from you, is you wanna read through, because sometimes they're gonna ask you to put a little keyword in there just to make sure that they know that you actually care enough that you've read through their entire post. So sometimes they'll just say like, hey, make sure that you type watermelon in your response so that I know that you actually read this. This sounds really silly, but it's actually a pretty effective tool because then they know and they can immediately read through who's really serious, who actually took the time to read all this stuff. So definitely make sure you do too. So now that you found that perfect sounding offer, and it really resonates with you and you're really excited for it, now you're ready to go ahead and leave a post on here, okay? So I wanna show you how to do this because like I said now, a lot of people, like so many people do this wrong and they actually ward off clients rather than attract them. So here we go. So on this offer right here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom here. I'm gonna click into this white field here so I can leave a comment. So I have a script for pretty much every single type of situation that I would like to apply for. And what I do is I just tailor each of these and you need to make sure you do this too because it's really stupidly obvious to a client when you're just slapping in big generic response, it's really obvious to them and it turns them off because it makes it feel like they don't, you don't really care about them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy and paste this script right here. I'm gonna put it into this post. And then what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tailor it a little bit. So if, for example, if I'm gonna apply for somebody that wants a Dungeons and Dragons character drawn, I'm gonna make sure that I drop, hey, I love Dungeons and Dragons, it's so cool. I really enjoy making this genre right here. So make sure that you give in your script, if you're new to writing this, you should do the following. You should give, first off, a really light introduction to yourself so they know just a little bit about you. And then number two, you wanna talk to them about how enthusiastic you are about their project. And then number three, you wanna leave some type of preferred method of contact for you as well. And then I'm gonna to talk to you about the next steps that you wanna also include in your post in just a sec. Now, one thing I always include personally in every single one of my job offer replies is I always tell them, if you're interested, please note me, please DM me. Because if you have the DeviantArt app, 
and you're out and about, you actually don't get any type of notification on your phone if somebody comments back to you. And that's really annoying. So if I get a note, no matter where I am in the world, I know that somebody is interested in paying me money to produce art for them. So I love the note system. It's also private and it's actually the best way for you to communicate with the client. So definitely make sure that you're not asking them to comment back to you or anything like that. They should be DMing you in order to discuss your potential business arrangement. So now that you've got your script in there, you've gone ahead and told them the best way for them to contact you if they're interested, two big things you wanna do. Number one is that you should have some type of pricing sheet available. Here's mine, okay? And on my sheet, this is just a simple journal on DeviantArt. Um, there are some really snazzy, uh, really cool versions of this that I honestly have just never had the time to invest into learning how to do. You can if you want to. Some people even make like really spiffy images. I wanna find clients and I, don't, I wanna get paid to produce really cool artwork for them. So I don't really think that any clients are caring whether or not you have this amazing version of a journal or if you just have like a real standard version. Nobody really cares, but you should have a pricing list. Now, once you go ahead and you link them to that price sheet, okay, you also on your post like I'm doing right here, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna insert some pictures, okay? A lot of people don't do this and a lot of people do. And I'm gonna tell you this, if you don't insert your pictures into your job offer form reply, you're probably not even gonna get looked at because any single time that you send a link to somebody, and you see a post that has multiple links like that, they're absolutely not gonna click on them. Clients wanna be able to scroll through, you know, 20 to 100 different replies and just look at everything. They're gonna say, that's my artist. That's the person that I wanna pay to produce my artwork because they can definitely do the best possible job for the price point I'm paying for it. Now on that topic, make sure that all the examples that you're posting are relevant. So again, if you're applying for character artwork, you should be posting pictures of character artwork. You should not be posting any type of graphic design stuff. You should not be posting any examples of your websites. You should not be posting environments because they don't care about that stuff. They care about their character getting made. Similarly, if you have somebody that wants a spaceship drawn, okay, don't put down your furry artwork. Like nobody cares about that. In fact, they're probably just gonna judge you pretty hard for that decision. Um, that would be a very odd choice to put that down, okay? Um, also, if somebody's looking for like safe for work style of art, don't put down your not safe for work style of art. Um, again, they specified safe for work because they want that version, not the dirty version. So just make sure that you're being careful with what you're putting out. You're being selected because again, the more relevance that you bring to them, the more likely it is that you're actually gonna get contacted back for that job. Hey, do you have any other tips or tricks that you wanna share about how to get commissions on this platform? Go ahead and leave it down below in the comments. Now, let me leave you with some final thoughts on what you should do for best practices on this. So number one is that if you're seeking again to get paid for your artwork, here's what you need to know. You should never, ever, ever do anything for any type of potential client without getting paid first. Never, ever, ever do any type of artwork without any type of upfront payment. Myself personally, I will not even pick up my stylus until I've been paid. And that's exactly what you should do. There's a lot of scammers out there on the internet and I've been played too. I don't want that to happen to you. I got played once and then from there, I was like, nope, I'm never doing this again. So never, ever, ever do anything for a client that requires you to do something without payment. If they don't wanna pay you first, then they're not serious and they're a chump definitely don't do that. Also with that, if you are applying for any type of job on here and they want multiple commissions, you absolutely should make a contract for that. I'll make a video later on and I'll post it up here too for y'all about how you should structure your contracts for your artwork so that you're best protected and that everything that you need is covered in there. So now that you've gone ahead and you click that submit comment button like I just did there, now the hard part starts, which is the waiting game, okay? They may contact you within an hour, they may contact you within a few, and they may contact you within a day, they may contact you in a week, they may never contact you, and you don't know about that. That's why you should continue to use this guide as an outline for how you should be applying to all of your jobs. But I'm gonna tell you that the people that commit, get commissioned the most on DeviantArt, they definitely follow this exact same strategy, but unfortunately, nobody talks about it. So that's why I wanted to make this video for y'all. So thanks so much for watching this, y'all. This has been The Art Mentor. Hey, do you have a topic 
that you want me to discuss on here, definitely make sure that you leave it down below in the comment. I appreciate you watching this because what matters to you matters to me. Thanks so much for watching y'all. See you next time.